Hello, and welcome back to Monster Rancher 2. Now, in the last episode, Bob McGinn managed to get to the B class, and he is starting to work off some of the debt that he has caused me by continuing battling even in the C class, even though we're taking a hit in fame. I also double-checked to see how exactly to get the item that is used to get an undine, which is the whole reason why we've raised Bob in the first place. And during the months between December and February, he has a chance of digging up a hot springs, and that is when we get an undine slate. Now, Bob here, uh, unfortunately, um is still a weakling and it is also February, which means we're going to be doing like a year of training while he may or may not get the shit kicked out of him. And then uh, hopefully we'll have our Undine uh, next year. So in the meantime, we're just doing some tournaments, trying to recover our cash. Uh, fame doesn't matter unless, except for expeditions um, as far as I'm aware. So you know, we're fine here. Also, already, he's got a little bit more, uh... He's got a little more oomph to that punch now, since he's worked on his power a little bit. Not a tremendous amount. He has not... I think his power just broke 300 or something, but... We want to get power to 400. I'm not going to be comfortable until then. And then once we've got the Undine Slate, we can retire Bob and start raising an Undine. Really, um, Bob doesn't really have a purpose after that. I do kind of want to let Bob keep going just to get the money, and so we have some decent breeding stock, but we don't, we definitely don't need Bob to get anywhere as far as tournaments are concerned. And he broke 300 power, so we need to get his power to 400. And I want to get his speed to 400 while we're at it. Wow, the Offery has like. No hit points whatsoever. Get him, get him. Decent shot. Still not as strong as I want it to be. Well, your bird and his exploding poop. Oh my god, he turned into Gambit. Ow, stop it. It's a bad ghost. Bad magical ghost. Alright, use your jabs, Bob. Oh, actually just sit tight. Let your guts go up for a second. All right, now jab him in the eye. Thank you for all those dodges. Oh my god, come on, Bob. This is not the time for foolery. Your numbers are too high for that. You're being ridiculous now. Okay, so he's making a decent showing. Once we've got power up to 400, I don't mind entering B-class tournaments instead, since the money will be so much better that way. Uh, oh, jeez, we have to be Pyvorus. Well, I think we'll have a decent shot. We beat him the last time. He doesn't do as much damage as I thought he did. So, as long as we wear him down, we should be okay. Just, oh, shit. I was about to say just hang out for a minute, but if he's going to be dumb enough to foolery, then... Yeah, see, that wasn't... I'd expect that it it looked really flashy. I expected it to hit for so much more than it did. We can just chill out here for a minute. All right, get in there. Nice, do it again. Well done. Give it a third time. Awesome. Now just chill out again. Oof, that was a crit. Not help me. Nice dodge. All right, start wasting time. Start spamming. Just keep punching. <laughs> I love that noise. Hey, there we go. All right, clean sweep of the tournament. We got, I think, 3,000 bucks out of the deal. Bob is finally starting to pay his way a little bit. Let's see if... Uh, the game decides to make the pattern look nice. Hey, it did! There's a nice symmetrical, asymm perfectly asymmetrical pattern, I guess. Very lovely. Okay, another victory. I'll have to see when the next battle is. The other thing with 
doing these fights is the st oh god, he's so creepy looking. The stat gains we get just from these fights alone are pretty decent. Yep, $3,300. Well done. And disc chips, which may or may not be useful. Depends on whose discs they are. Uh, well, let's... I mean, let's throw away a nuts oil since I have a bazillion of them. Plus, if we sell the disc chips, it'll be worth more. Bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy, mochi. Stop bouncing, mochi. Just stop. Just... Just stap. Stap already. Oh, the loading screens. Let's see. Life went up. That's excellent. Intelligence was pointless, but very tiny power boost. I'll take it, though. Not bad. All right. Let's see whose discs, disc chips. Oh, quack, quack. You dug up. Hey, that's a bone. Hooray! Just gonna... Just... We're just gonna... We're just, we're, we're just gonna throw that away there, baby. Alright. Yeah, don't, don't let Bob see that we threw the bone away. <laughs> That's really funny that they put that detail in there. Alright, um... Alright. That's Monol. I, I wanted to raise a Monol at one point. There's Arrowhead, Gabu. Mm, I saw that. I, I think I would do well with a Gabu. I just don't. I don't know. I, I, I think we're coming to the end-ish of the series. I don't think we're going to have too many more monsters that we're going to make. Definitely get your names in for, for our seventh monster if you haven't already. Um, all right, let's... Oh, I just used the item. Sorry, I just kind of... My, my brain broke for a minute there. All right. 2000... Ooh, the... Wait, Troron. Oh, that's that one, um, drug. Nah, you know what? It's not worth it. Let's, uh... Let's just... Let's just do this. Um... How about we just train? Because he... Now that it's March, he's not going to be digging anything up. So let's just train power rather than worrying about anything else. We'll just train power and conserve our money. Nom nom. Or conserve our lifespan, rather, and not enter tournaments with the... Well... See, I keep arguing with myself. That's the problem. Like... If we run tournaments, we'll get some of this money back that we're constantly spending. But... It'll shave life off his, well, life. So, ah, screw it. What is Monster Rancher without a little risk? And we haven't gotten any messages that he's getting old. Plus, we'll get more stat gains just from doing these tournaments, so never mind. May as well just keep going with this. We won't do the official tournaments, but we'll at least stick with the unofficials. All right. And the Troron, I could probably sell that for like 600 bucks, so if nothing else, we'll get a little profit out of that. Oh, it's 7.30. I need to take my melatonin. Hooray! Also, hooray doing a fighting tournament where the reward for winning is drugs. Uh, as if we are thrust right back into winter, it's snowing here in the coal art arena. Where's the pill I just grabbed from the bottle? All right. So, hopefully this pill isn't going to mess up my, uh, you know, this whole Let's Play thing we're doing, but we'll see. Hooray, melatonin. All right. Here we go. All right. Chill out, as you always do, Bob. I'm very hungry. What episode is this? This is episode six of the session. Okay. Let me get some food after we complete the session here. All right. Lay into him. Oof. Never mind. Just chill out again. Get those guts up. 
All right, now lay into him with Fleck. There we go. I am slowly seeing the damage go up a little bit. Ooh, that was a good one. Once you land a crit or two. All right, chill out. Wait until 10 seconds and then do it again. All right, lay into him. One more, baby. What? Really? Come on, Bob. We're better than that. Especially since we're in the C class right now. You're better than that. You are literally better than that. Okay. My dinner plans for today are just some ravioli. And not, not like well made. Not cooked or eat ravioli. I'm just grabbing a can of, ra of Chef Boyardee. The Akamura bought a bunch of them, and she's grossed out by them. And uh, there's one thing I cannot stand: it's wasting food. It it upsets me when we waste food because your donations are going to food, and we're already you know we we're month to month pretty much, and we try to do. I, I always try to get a lot of food that I know we're going to eat that doesn't perish or whatever. And it drives me insane, wasting food. So once the Akamura stated that she she bought like six or ten cans of the Chef Boyardee ravioli and stuff, and then she had like one and she doesn't want it. So I'm like, well, we're not going to throw it away. I mean, I guess I could donate it, but I am I will eat it. So, you know, I, I hate wasting food. It really chaps my ass. It's it's probably the whole, like, point of privilege thing that we have all this food, so it bothers me when it's wasted. Like, it, it, it hurt me at a core level back when I worked at Walmart and was in the deli because we would literally waste about $300 of food a day um, because we would display food. You know, we'd take a turkey and we'd slice it up and display the slices of turkey. And those slices were there all day. And we usually had, I, I take that back. They were usually there for half a day. And then we would slice the turkey again and display it. And we would throw all of that food away. So we would have probably a good two pounds just of turkey that we would throw away. Um, it was It was pathetic. I hated it. I hated seeing how much food we threw away every single day. Um, cause it's, I, I'm not trying to be a bleeding heart liberal or anything like that, but it's, you know, it, it's the idea that we do have starving people and it's not just even like desperately starving people. I mean, we're right between three colleges where I live and there are plenty of college students who I'm sure could use some discounted meals or, you know, so, some discounted lunch meat or something. And a lot of times we would throw food away just because we made too many. Like we'd have uh, jalapeno poppers or chicken bites or something like that. And we'd cook up like five pounds of it. And if only a pound sold in four hours, then that's four pounds of chicken that we just throw away because we aren't allowed to discount it. Drives me insane. I hate it. We have a grocery store nearby called Kroger that uh, at least discounts their food when it gets tired, so to speak. Um, and if then they throw it away, if it's still not sold after that, which is still not great, but it's better. But yeah, Walmart is very wasteful. It drove me insane being there. Never been happier to be out of Walmart. Anyway, good job, Bob. That's another tournament win. I don't know what you're up to. I don't keep track of the numbers during the recording sessions. Only afterward, we've got some drugs and we've got some... Uh, money, and... God, you still look creepy as hell. We'll just sell it off. I think we'll be... We're probably in good shape enough that I can try a B-class tournament. I just... I, I don't think he's gonna do well. But we can at least try one. His power needs to be at 400 before I'd be even remotely comfortable about sending him into that fight. Okay. Defense went up. Life went up. Not bad. Uh, no. No praising. 
Don't be angry at me. You beat a C-class set of monsters. You're fine. All right. Have a... Have a this. First of all, that's the... Yup. Make it more disciplined. It's... I don't need it. I would rather sell it for the $600. Nom nom. Especially since it's being sold right now. Since Auntie sells that specific drug, there's no reason for me to go out of my way to keep that one. Hey, we're over 20 grand again. All right. Um, did I use a nuts oil on you yet this week? I don't remember already. Have a nuts oil. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. You've had one. He does the, that is the cutest, like, sassiest hair flick I've ever seen. All right. Uh, more power, buddy. All right. That's good. Okay. Official tournament is happening this week. That's great. Have a... I didn't mean to go to battle. I meant to go to item. Have a nuts oil. Ah, already I can feel the melatonin kicking in a little bit. I found out that through a cracked article of all things that taking melatonin as a hypnotic, that is taking it right before bed, is the wrong way to take melatonin. You're supposed to take it seven hours before bed because that way, by the time the seven hours pass, you're very sleepy. And I can already feel myself being a little drowsy, but that's good. I need to be a little drowsy, not like super crazy drowsy at 7.40 p.m. I don't want to be passing out at 7.40 p.m., but I don't want to be so energetic that I have, I have to stay up until 7 in the morning or I'm not going to get any sleep, so... Because I always get way more done in the mornings. I just do. Alright, when's the next B class? Uh... Alright, we'll go for the spring carnival. So you better be ready for it. Let's get you all powered up. Yeah, you're definitely not going to hit 40 by the time we... Or 400 by the time we get there. But every little bit helps. I, I think he'll hit 350 at least. And that'll be another level, so... We'll be able to reevaluate him at that point, either way. The worst thing that can happen at this point is that he gets injured or something right before the winter months, because I don't want to miss out on my undine slate. I, I hope it's not randomized. I really hope it's not randomized. I may do a backup save right before the winter months, just in case. Like said December through February, so I might do an emergency save in November and go from there. Alright, so this will get you up to 350 in your power. 356 specifically. Now we can enter the B-Class tournament and see how we do. We have mail. Is it a sale? It is a sale. Excellent. Okay. Have yourself a nuts oil. I guess I need to keep praising him because his loyalty has been dropping a little too much recently. Whoops. Shop. Ugh. Oh, I don't like that melatonin works this well on me. Like, I'm already tired enough now that if I go lay down, I could probably go to sleep. And I don't want to do that. Um. Ugh. Oh. oh, melatonin, why? Oh, I feel like yawning too. What's helped is I haven't had any caffeine yet today. And I believe my red cream sodas are caffeine free, which is even better. All right, buddy. Let's take. You know what? It's almost close to 20 minutes. I'm going to call the episode here because I don't want to get the tournament started and do one match and then have to stop. So this will be it for now. And in the next one, we'll take on the Spring Carnival and see what happens. So thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow for another episode. I promise I won't fall asleep in the process. Probably.